some type of gratitude for all his blessings. I'm just trying to, man, just, just get it right sometimes. You know what I mean? I mean, man, you just can't, you just can't do what you want to do and just live wrong all the time. Man, you got it. At one point in time, Steve, come on, man. Come on, man, you can do better. I know you can. You know, and, and, and you know what I had to do? I had to stop saying, I'm going to try to do better. And I just had to say, hey, man, I'm going to do better. You know, uh, tr trying is just to put forth an effort, and then if it don't work, well, okay. But if you make up in your mind that I'm going to do something, then trying isn't enough. It's getting it done is the only thing that matters. See, it's the difference between doing and trying. We're going to try to win the game, or we're going to go out here to win the game. Now, trying to win the game means that you could lose. But when you got in your mind made up, most athletes will tell you that they go out there with the full intent and purpose of winning and winning only. See, they don't put the second place finisher on the cover of Sports Illustrated. Second place don't get you there. You, you got to win. And now take it out of the scope of athletics, but keep it in that type of, type of analogy. In life, man, you just want to, you want to win in life, don't you? I mean, at the end of the day, don't you want to be on the cover of Sports Illustrated of life? Don't you want to be recognized for your hard work? Don't you want, you know, to be recognized within the bonus structure down at your job? Don't you want to have your plaque up on the wall down at your job? I mean, most people do. Some people could care less. Some people don't care about looking good or being their best. And that's cool, but I ain't talking to them. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to those of you who, who, who want to be the best you can be. You know, people, people kill me when they get mad at, at, at people. Hey, yeah, he brown nose and he all up on the employee of the month. Man, the dude doing his job to the best of his ability and he getting recognized for it. What that got to do with all that you talking about? Because you ain't up there. You know, it's amazing, man, how people describe other people's success. He's so lucky. Lucky? <laughs> hey, man, don't they kind of get you a little bit when people call you lucky? When, let me tell you what luck really is, y'all. Luck is when hard work bumps up into opportunity. When hard work runs smack dab up into opportunity, some people call that luck. But hold on, let's, let's think about this. If you wasn't working hard and opportunity presented itself, what would you call that? What you call that, a missed opportunity? What you call that, wrong place at the wrong time? Boy, you missed out on that. But see, when you've been working hard and opportunity presents itself and it bumps up into each other, now people want to call that luck. But hold up, here go the part, though, that they ain't paying no attention to. Yeah, that opportunity came by. But if you had not been working hard and the hard work had not ran up in the opportunity, what would you have? No, sir, it's not love. It's work. It is work. Because there's a scripture that says faith without works is dead. Look, I know I use the same ones all the, all the time. But them the ones I know. I mean, what you want me to do? You want me to lie to you? You want me to come on here and tell you, man, I've been studying the Bible. I haven't. I haven't. I haven't. I haven't. But my mama was a Sunday school teacher. She taught me enough, though. Now, I know the difference between right and wrong just like you do. You ain't got to, you know, it, it kills me when people write a strawberry letter. Am I wrong for this? You know, good well, look at, listen, read your letter. Are you wrong for this? You know, you wrong. What you don't need us to be telling, you know, but I'm going to do this anyway. Well, see, go ahead, though. Do what you want to do. But you know what, y'all? Here, here's the best advice I can give you. This is what I really uh, came to talk about this morning, but I got sidetracked because I listened. You know what? Get, get out of your own way. So many of us are blocking our own blessings. We're just in our own way. We are in our own way. And one of the most dangerous ways you can get in your way is to do it your way, to get it figured your way, and to lock in on your way, and this the way it's got to go. 
Do you know how many people are blocking their blessing? Do you know how long I block mine with that mindset right there? This is how I want it to happen. This is how I want it to go down. This the way I'm going to go about it. And this is what's going to happen. Lock, loaded, fire. So I was dead set on doing it my way. Have you ever talked to people? Man, well, this is just the way I do it. Look, because it's the way you do it, you think that make it the right way? You think jazz because you done thought on it long and hard, and that's what you really want. Do you really think that your way is the right way, or could there be a better way? See, until I started listening to God and started paying attention to his way, man, I was spinning my wheels, man. I was out here so determined this is how I was going to do it. But, you know, I had to learn how to get out of my own way. Because just because I could do it my way didn't mean it was the right way. I had to get out of my own way. Just get out your way, man. Now, what, 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 what does that mean? That means, see, set your goals. That means have your dreams. That's, I'm, I'm saying set your goals, man. I ain't saying don't set goals. Listen to me. Set your goals. What is it you want to happen? What is it you'd like to have? What is it you'd like to be? What do you aspire to? Set your goals and set your dreams. Now, take your goals and your dreams to God. And ask God to show you how. Man, you can save yourself a lot of pain. Listen to somebody who did it his way for so long. And when I finally got out of my way, out of my own way, when you've heard old people say, let go and let God. You've heard them say that. I didn't, I didn't get it, but I got it now. Let go and let God. And it's an amazing little saying, though. Now, you know, you may not get it now. It, it took me a bunch of years to get it, too. But when, I, but when I took my goals and my dreams and my vision to God, and I said, God, this is what I hope for. This is what I aspire to. This is what I want to be. This is where I would love to get to. Then I said, help me, show me how, point me in the right direction. Let me follow your footsteps, guide me, and give me a, a spirit of discernment. Show me who wrong, because I meet people every day, ain't up to no good with me, every single day. Oh man, man, I can't believe I run up into you, man. The Lord told me something was gonna happen to me today. Well, see, I talk to him every day. He did not mention me to me. He, he ain't said nothing to me. He didn't tell me what was going to happen in my life. Now, that don't mean it can't happen because I'm open to it. But it amazes me when people come up to me, man, the Lord wanted me to tell you this. Hold on, man. I talk to him every day. Every day. Some days more than others. I ain't perfect. I, I miss sometimes. But I'm on a daily basis talking to him. So really, man, I'm, I'm and, I, and, I, and, and please know I'm listening as well as I've ever listened before. But, but get yourself together, though. See, know your goals and your dreams, and then let God show you how to do it. He'll do it. See, see, you know how you let him lead you? Listen. Listen. That's all you got to do. If you're talking to God and you're asking him for help, listen. But don't go with the first thing that happened. Pay attention, because here's one way you know it ain't him. If it's some sin in it, it ain't him. It ain't him. I don't care. Go down there and tell him this right here. And then that'll straighten him out. That ain't him talking to me. That's not him. You know, it's 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 um, it's so important. Now. It's so important, everybody, that you get focused, that you aim for something, that you dream of something, that you aspire to something. But it's the most the best thing you can do after you do all that. Man, get God involved in it, man. Talk to him. I mean, why would you not? What you got to lose? You ain't got to go down there and make no big scene and, and run laps around the church and run up there and throw yourself on the altar and scream and flip over and throw money in the air. You ain't got to do that. This you and God, man. This you and God. You know, you got to serve and praise him the way you do it. You ain't got to let nobody else tell you how it's done. It's a personal relationship. People kill me if you don't do it this way, if you don't come here to this church and you don't run around in this circle and you don't get flipped in the hand, you don't turn a somersault, then you ain't saved and you ain't said, what did you, what tongue did you speak? Hey, Amen. 
You better go have a relationship with God, see what that's about. You understand? Don't nobody throw you off with all that, all right? All right, y'all. Talk to him. He'd love to hear from you today. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show.